Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Down at Motor Coach Country Club in Indio, California. Just giving you a nice shot of the mountains off. Where I am showing you is the location that Marathon has its double lot at Motor Coach. If you've never been here, this is a beautiful park right on Avenue 48 in Indio. And today we're going to be looking at Lucky Larry Bird, 1333. And look at that paint job on $12.99. We're going to be going into both of these. I'm going to show you a little bit around the park. Stick with me. Hope everyone's having a good week. I'm going to flip it so you can see that it's me. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for hanging out with me. We'll flip it back around. I've got my, uh, my mask still on there for safety. But that's what it's all about. One of the things I love about 1333 is that white bumper, something you don't see. The reason it has that white bumper and you can see it in the entry door there is the paint scheme wraps right around the front, gives it a real dynamic, clean look, real aggressive, youthful look right there. Before we go inside, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around these coaches. Beautiful paint jobs on both of these. I wanna be on the show. You wanna, I wanna be, be on the show. You wanna be <laughs> Hey hey, how are you, Sid? <laughs> Good morning. How's your new coach? Wonderful. Good. Are you off to the golf course? I like that. Well done. Well said. Have fun, Mal. Thank you. Thanks for everything. When you're live, there ain't no telling. When it comes down to these paint jobs, you guys, you know, I hear a lot about Marathon's paint jobs, and I'm going to tell you right now, absolutely beautiful, dynamic, durable paint jobs is what is coming out of the Marathon shop. I love how the silver wraps through this paint here. get a good look at the front of it. All right. Let's go inside. If you guys have any questions and I can read them, go ahead and let me know. We're going to head inside this coach right here. This is $12.99. This is a pre-owned 2020 H3 double slide. I know we've seen it before on the show, so we're not going to spend too much time. Yeah, I see Jake break in there. Thanks, Jake. Nice comment. It is a beautiful coach. The paint job on this is so dynamic. Uh, there's an elephant, so you know uh, who was involved in this coach. <clears throat> we're not going to spend too much time in here. We've already spent some time in this one. It's got the double bunks that you see me walking by right there. Bath and a half. Triple bunk. In an H3 double slide. My man Ron says he likes the, uh, the animal print that's up there on those 
seats. You see those in the salon on the curbside. You also see them in the cockpit. A lot of amenities in this coach, but I'm going to show you my favorite feature of this coach. I'm going to go right back over here. The details of a marathon are really what makes these coaches shine. Because everybody makes a nice coach, right? But the details, the fit and finish, marathon just does it better. Look at that, you guys. It goes right along with this coach. Isn't that beautiful? Mark's making a very good point, and I'm going to piggyback on your point, Mark, about the paint jobs absolutely selling these coaches. For a lot of people, this is what they concentrate on because this is what they see. They see these beautiful paint jobs, whether it be parked at a park like I am right now or at a on the freeway, on the highway, or late at night, you just want to take a peek at your coach because it's so beautiful in your bus barn. Take a look at this, you guys. This is the plumbing bay of $12.99. We've seen this before in coach 12 58, I believe it is, which was a quad slide, but the finishing of that color, that cabinetry color for the plumbing bay is so dynamic. That's the stuff that sets Marathon apart, you guys, is the fit and finish and the attention to detail. And one more time, we're going to take a look at beautiful 1299 with the palm trees reflecting in those windows. Yeah, Vince says that's badass. It is. I mean, really, we could clean it up and say it differently, but he's right. It's badass. It's beautiful. It's just a beautiful coach. Now, I'm going to show you 1333. I'm going to get a, a wide shot first of this guy crossing over in front is a palm tree. Nice. Look at that beautiful paint job. The subtleness of portions of it really stand out. I'm going to get close in here. Take a look at how this fades. It's red. And then the fade is subtle. From red to black, and it's not a sudden fade it doesn't change colors right away what it does is it takes its time the texturing also does the same thing you can see right here by the window how it fades in here we're going to go inside in just a second because i'm going to talk to you guys about why this floor plan is the best floor plan you will see on the market for any luxury RV for an H3 double slide. Man. And after the rains, we haven't had this washed for 
Well, it's been here a week, maybe a little bit less than a week, you guys. And the rains were here and the wind was kicking, kicking like my man, Bruce Lee. I'm not going in yet. It's too beautiful. You guys, we got to, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to roam around to this side. That's something. Man. All right, let's go check it out inside. Here's our sanitation station. This is one thing that Marathon is doing, you guys, to uh, keep everybody safe. And we sanitize this coach after we wipe it down with wipes after every group goes through, whether it be a couple, a single person, or a family. Vince Akers is asking if we do a rear bunkhouse with a bath. Vince, if that's what you need, it sounds like a custom coach. I'll throw my email out there, M-A-L-W at marathoncoach.com I love the uh, cockpit you guys it's like all gray it's grays and it's light grays and dark grays take a look at this I'm coming back out look at that color with the leather wrap which is a very light gray don't get it twisted that is not white to this darker gray Isn't that beautiful wood grain to the Chilliwick mats in here are a light gray. Don't be scared because they are washable into the leather wrapped cockpit. Just so tastefully done. Such a modern feel in this coach. And then let's get the shot of the entire floor plan from right here. We're gonna walk through it, so stick with me. I got some, some cool things to show you, and I'm gonna stick with my word. Let's turn this light off. I must've hit this this morning. Boop, off. That beautiful. So, you guys already know what's going on. Jackknife on the driver's side. The L-shaped dinette also there. Here is the galley. Very large, good-sized gallery with lots of storage. The two displays. You see the Apple TV on the bottom? And then if I push this button... That TV goes down and is just now a countertop. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty innovative. I really like how that was designed. It's got a little storage area right here for little items. But I'm a big fan of that, you guys. Uh, you know, you've got a very large TV over the cockpit, which is stored right up there. But when you're sitting over here... On the driver's side, it's nice to have a TV across from you. And that is the usage for this. In custom coaches, we have also done um, TVs behind the sofa. But I really like that pop-up TV. Now let's talk about this booth dinette. Excuse me, L-shaped dinette. The reason I refer to it as a booth is because it feels like a booth. I like the squared off tabletop of the dinette, which is a theme that you will see throughout this coach.
But also if I push this hidden button here, you see how that is extending out? The rear portion provided us a little bit more seating for one more person to the dinette. And then when you're not using it, it stows away and it stops right about there. Of course, you know it's gonna have storage behind it like it should. Very clean lines in this coach. Curio cabinets are very clean and straight. Storage in the same fashion. get a good look here at this countertop fits the theme very well from the cockpit to the cabinetry to the Corian that is used for all the countertops to this floor all right the fisher Peichel refrigerator freezer right there. On this side right here, you're going to have storage for your pantry. Now, what is this right here? This is the half bath, everybody. First thing that stands out to me always is this wall covering. So awesome. I love that. Let's see how I can do this here. There we go. Give you a good shot of the entire Isn't that pretty. That's the half bath, you guys. And you don't even know it's there showing this coach over the last couple of days. A lot of people don't even know that this door, oh, sorry, I lost you there. <laughs> there we go, let's get us straight here. Now, when you come on the curbside, Excuse me, on the driver's side, first thing I'm going to show you is this closet. It's got a very large closet right across from the main bath. Okay. Good storage. And a two-foot hanger bar. Now, you close that. You come here, and you hit washer-dryer door. Your washer and dryer are also right here. So on, th on that, just to recap, on that side, you've got that half bath, the washer dryer, and a very large closet. It's a great design. This is one of the reasons I say this is the best designed H3 double slide in the industry. Here is the full bath. Now, historically, a marathon would have the breakers and other electrical needs behind here. Not anymore. And I'll show you later. Storage. And this is good, adequate storage that's really good for whether it be toiletries or actual towels rolled up. As you can see, illustrated by these rolled up towels. Now. Look at that backsplash. Another thing, the toe kick lights. You can see the lighting. See the lighting below there? Isn't that great? Hello? Now let's look at the shower. Isn't that beautiful? 
The shower feature in this coach is also very dynamic and plays along with the entire scheme of this coach. So nice. All right. Now let's get into the bedroom. And this is what I was talking about when we talk about the best designed. One of the reasons that I say it's the best designed is because of storage. You don't want to give up storage. And giving up storage is not something that owners really want to do. And so Marathon Engineering historically has always gotten very creative and I'm going to show you the creative ways they did that in this new floor plan. Okay. Large closet. Don't ask me about the teddy bear, you guys. I have no idea. It's just kicking it in there. I don't know if that came from a, from a show. I see my sister is watching. That's a Valentine's bear of some sort. All right, there's a closet, rear closet right there. Now that's a legitimate four foot hanger bar. You also have a little bit of storage right here, but that is a large area and I can actually stand in it and show you the, from the front of the coach that I'm standing in this rear closet. So it's not by any means a small closet. You still get to achieve that area in the rear. Now, take a look at this. And those are fully adjustable. Lots of storage. And that's deep storage. It's not... It has some depth to it in here. So you're able to store a lot of items. And there's two of them. Look at that. Isn't that something? So you've got one of those. You've got two of those. You've got the rear closet. Storage there. And then on the other side of this door, you guys, there is also additional storage on the other side of the closet door. So when that closet shuts, you have it. But take a look at this. This header is actually cut very similar to what you would see in an airplane, overhead storage. And a lot of people don't even know that's there because it just looks like part of the header. You know, you got your speakers up there. You got lighting up there. It's really nice. Now, I told you about the breakers and on all the electrical controls. It's all right here in one area. Look at how well designed it is. I see Mike McGill is watching. A good friend of ours. A lot of you who are owners know Mike McGill. He is uh, one of our techs. <laughs> I'm going to take this off so you can see exactly marathon quality. Big thanks to Mike McGill for watching. He is one of our techs at our, at our Coburg location. And a lot of you know him because he spends a lot of time down here where I'm at right now at Motor Coach Country Club, Outdoor Resorts Indio and Desert Shores, taking care of marathon customers on the west coast this is all about marathon quality you guys everything has its own place everything is in the proper location it's above industry standard beautiful that's 1333 we're going to get one more shot outside of it I do like this rug too, this area rug. It goes well with it. It's a good shot of the 
salon before we go outside. Oh, you know what? I got one more thing to show you. I want to show you the center lights of the ceiling. Take a look at that. Those ceiling center lights light up. It's a very modern feel in this coach. And this ceiling is exactly that. This ceiling is supposed to be like an infinity swimming pool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that light off and back on. There's on, there's off. It's also dimmable, so you can have the light on very little. My sister in there uh, making a Lebowski reference that the room really, the, the rug really ties the room together, does it not? For those of you who know me intimately, uh, you know that The Big Lebowski is easily my favorite movie of all time. And rarely does a day go by that I don't quote it annoyingly 10 times, maybe 20. That's it, everybody. That right there is Coach 1333. What a beautiful coach. What a beautiful location to come down and show it to everybody. Such a modern feel to this. If you're interested in this coach or getting into another marathon, M-A-L-W at marathoncoach.com. Send me an email with your phone number. I'll give you a call right away and we can talk about this. I'll give you kind of a 360 from this location. There's the top of the Falls restaurant up there at Motor Coach Country Club. One of the best restaurants down here in the desert is right here at Motor Coach Country Club. And I'll walk down to the street here one more time. Let's sign off from over here. We'll give you a good shot over here, everybody. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me for a, a long tour of twelve ninety nine and thirteen thirty three. The reason I do these videos is for all of you guys to help you make a decision, to help you in your research. There is no finer luxury RV than Marathon for so many reasons. And the Marathon Monday show is set up to illustrate that. And I appreciate you guys all supporting it. Okay, so the name of this resort is Motor Coach Country Club. Someone just asked that. This is... In, you know, and I haven't been to all the parks, but you guys, it's just, it's just fantastic. It is absolutely beautiful. A great community of really nice people. You see the mountains off there in the distance. And just on the other side of Marathon's two coaches, which you will see right there, if you can really see over there, there are snow-capped mountains. That's towards Palm Springs right there. Big thanks to Jim. My man Jim Torrance putting on the uh, Motor Coach Country Club website. That's just beautiful. I'm actually on a portion of the golf course and I don't see anyone out here, so I'm not interrupting anyone's game. But that's it, everybody. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Be yourself and do good things. Be safe, take care, reach out to me if you need, uh, if you need to get into a marathon, if you're looking to trade, if you're looking to sell. 
Marathon's consignment program is fantastic. Sending love from the UK. John Miller, thank you so much for watching from all the way over there. Big thanks to my sister, Sharice, for watching. And to all of you. Gosh, I just love this view. Quite calming with the waterfalls over there. All right, I'm out of here, you guys. Take care. Thanks for everything. I'll see you soon. I'm going to be doing uh, a uh, Mal on the Move from down here in a couple of days. So uh, I just got to coordinate that with uh, Mickey and in our uh, marketing team, and uh, we'll get that hooked up. Take care, everybody.